it's a seemingly a revenge film of these women turning the tables on this abusive strip club owner. But there's a great deal of psychological abuse, which is much more subtle and much more difficult to combat. Hey, Lily! Get in here! What? Didn't you hear me calling you? I need you. Uh, yeah, I'm, yes, I'm, I'm sorry. Lily is, sort of, is the one who is dealing with integrating herself, the older character that's making a decision to change her life. And one of the things in the film, too, is that you can change your life at any moment. And it's just, it doesn't matter how long you've been in a certain path and groove, you can make a different choice and, and improve your life. Why do you stay? The character of the IRS agent, Ian's character, was coming in to audit and making her face all of these things and see what is truly going on in her relationship and, and get perspective on it. You think you're better than me. You take your clothes off for money. Yeah, so some of the girls are pretty screwed up, but who isn't? They're in denial. And you're not? Working with Ian was great. Ian was a trooper. Great sense of humor. He had a certain type of physicality that was really great. And I really liked his balance. He wasn't playing it in an obvious way. He was such a pro. The guys know the deal. The girls have the control. Control? Yeah, how far things go. That's an illusion. <laughs> hey, you can't pull that kind of shit in my place. I got a reputation. You know what, Larry, you peaked in high school. Marcus, who played Larry, he had a certain complexity to him. He really was passionate. He really got what I was trying to convey. You need to be taught a lesson by a real man, skank bitch. Play Larry Long, nefarious beast. The sort of psychological manipulator. Normal, horrible man. <laughs> I'll break you, I swear. <laughs> Lisa Arturo was a pleasure. She's great. She is uh, very committed and she is a wildcat. I mean, she just threw herself in and she was in character a good t deal of the time. I can't wait till you dump that bastard. He needs me. You need you. Mitzi's a kick in the pants. Mitzi is uh, hilarious. She's a great dancer, very different from that character. And she was just very pragmatic in terms of whether something looked good, didn't look good. She was throwing herself into the performance. Remember who you're talking to. I'm not Louie, I don't fall for your bullshit. You're always trying to get backstage. The choreographer, Terry, she is very talented. She is in the movie. Terry worked individually with each of the girls because they all each had dances, and then with us all being in one dance. I think it was a transitional role for Brie to be doing something that was so physically out there. There were certain things were, that were very charged. I was that bad because I made some tips. Those tips are pity pay. My God. Brie Blair is amazing. I mean, I loved working with her. Her role in lots of ways is a lot more complex, complex than mine. I mean, my role is very, you know, it's, it's very straightforward in, in one way. And we did a lot of rehearsals together. Please give me another chance. The film is looking at that loss of innocence, the anger, and denial. When people's esteem has been compromised, that's a great way to control and manipulate. And there's a sense of, of sacrificing a part of oneself for something material. Set. Set. Action. I wanted this industrial look, yet you go into the club and it's in a it's a very different sort of dream world. Zorn was helpful in the creating the dream atmosphere. And I gave him some crazy direction, like I would have wanted to look like the machinist meets Moulin Rouge. Originally we had everything all storyboarded, and then at the last minute we decided to do it all handheld, which is exhausting. He was camera operator as well as the DP. 
Darren was great. We had built the set and then we pre-lit it so that we could move quickly and we had a limited budget and I think he did an amazing job. He built everything from the ground up. You know, a lot of hard work. There was a hell of a lot of stuff crammed into a short space of time. And this is normal in, you know, independent movies. Baby, don't do this. You haven't learned anything, have you? I think it's important for us to realize that when we objectify ourselves, we're allowing a piece of humanity to be removed sort of like judge the, the moral fiber of a culture by the way women playing into what men want them to be. In terms of the film, it's not just what I learned, it was more of a healing process for me. But going through the process, I've come out to the other side and I feel as if it's been cathartic. It was really interesting to, to be going back and forth between the two dynamics. I don't want you, didn't want you from the